if you win that fight, do you want that world title next? Or or maybe if you can't get that, Deontay Wilder, he might come back. He still hasn't made up his mind, you know? That would be massive if you win Wilder, man. Yeah, if I win, I would want to fight Wilder if he comes out of retirement. He's, he kind of, when you're interviewing him, he'll say that he kind of didn't want to. He makes more money outside of the ring than inside of the ring. That kind of made, that kind of showed that he doesn't really want to, you know? And I don't blame him. All the hard work and dedication that he did through over the years, he accomplished a lot. He was champion for so many years. You know, I can't blame him. If he wants to enjoy his life without getting hurt, without getting punched in the face, he already did, you know? We all work hard, so we don't have to work hard than life, you know? So he already did all that hard work. He doesn't have a mean. Me, me too. I, I have enough money where I don't have to work no more. We have houses that we're making. I make money every month. Um, got all these houses, but my dreams are not done. You know, I want that WBC belt. And I told my son AJ, I'm not going to retire. I'm not going to stop boxing until I have this this WBC belt. Even if I lost again, if I lost another time, I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting until, until I get this belt. But no, I'm not losing. Anything. So once you get you that belt, it's just you can walk away. Yeah, but I want to stay, you know, stay champion, stay relevant for the WBC belt, and you know, by that we're getting there. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KB with Just Do Boxing back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to say if this is your first time on the channel. Do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, make sure you hit that bell icon. Put them notifications on all so you can be notified when I drop new content as I drop new content daily and do live streams daily as well. So make sure y'all tune in, man. To everybody that's been rocking with the channel, y'all truly, truly appreciate it. As you know, your boy on the road to 2000, man, we just cracked over 1,700. In the last 28 days, man, we had over well over 200 subscribers. So I want to say I greatly appreciate that, man. So. I'm not going to keep y'all here too long, so let's get into it, man. And recently, you know, I just watched the interview Andy Ruiz did with Fight Hype. And, you know, I just didn't appreciate how he uh, questions Wilder's hunger and drive and whether he still wanted to, you know, come back and fight or not, you know. And some of the things he said were interesting to me, but he pretty much kind of contradicted himself. You know what I'm saying? He said, um, Wilder said that, He's making more money outside the ring than he is inside the ring. And that told him right there, you know, that he he didn't really want to fight no more. He wasn't really hungry or motivated. And to try to say rightfully so, you know, if he wants to enjoy his life and all of that, he should be able to. If he don't want to get punched in the face no more for a living and some something along those lines, man. So feel free to uh go check that full interview out on Fight Hype. But I just didn't like the tone in which he questions Wilder's hunger and drive or determination to want to come back given how resilient he was when he lost and how adamant he was about getting his rematches and making sure that you know the contractual ob obligation was fulfilled you know and with Tyson Fury so I, I think it's I think it's inaccurate to question his hunger or drive based on if he made money and why I'm gonna say that because Andy Ruiz then said himself that he doesn't have to work again another day in his life. He don't have to box again either as he makes money every month. You know, he has properties, investments, and things of that nature. But then he went on to say how hungry he still is and how motivated he is. And just because Wilder already has success and a lot of it and it was champion for a long time and made money don't mean that he's any less hungry. I mean, you you just said yourself, you made money y yourself. You know what I'm saying? Did that make you any less hungry? You you're, you want us to believe you're, you're hungrier than ever. But at the same time, if you want to be technical and you want to dig into it a little bit of what Andy Ruiz was saying, you, you basically saying you can still be motivated after winning the belts and, and losing them and, and, and making a lot of money. You can still be motivated than ever and still be determined to become champion again. But because Wilder was champion for so long and he made a lot of money outside the ring, his he's not hungry. That don't make sense. How is it that you hungry? You pretty much explained the same circumstance. You basically saying y'all both made money outside the sport. You know what I mean? And neither one of y'all have to fight again a day in your life. But yet and still, you want us to believe you're so hungry when we seen 
when you had success against AJ in the first fight and ended up winning by stoppage, how quick and comfortable and not determined you look in that rematch when you came back overwhelmed and over overweight and, and you know, just not showing a, a great deal of discipline. You get what I'm saying? So we have a track record that says you have a tendency to to come, you know, come come to fights not looking your best. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Wilder, on the other hand, he's gonna give you everything he got each and every time out. So if it's any question, if that man said he gonna be back, then he'll be back. And salute to Seven A Sports TV as he just had the chant, you know, Deontay Wilder on his live stream earlier, and he's told us to stay tuned. And it sounds like it's very well like that he's coming back. He said just stay tuned. And again, he received a, a, a statue a few, uh, uh, quite a few, a number of weeks back. You know, maybe maybe a month or two back in his hometown of Alabama, which was very, very big. They gave the bronze bomber a bronze statue that was dope. Very, very great piece of art, very, very dope project. I mean, they gave that man his flowers while he alive to smell them. Gave that king his crown while he alive to still wear it, man. And I just wanted to touch on, you know, a little bit of what Andrew Ruiz said, and I just didn't think it was realistic. Or should I say it wasn't accurate to question Wilder's hunger. You know, because he made money and he was champion for a long time. He still lost, as you did. You said you was hungrier than ever. You're on record saying that after losing, you know, in a rematch to Joshua. And then you had a fight, you know what I'm saying, against, you know, against Chris Ariola, where you didn't look exactly too hot either. Your last fight you had against Chris Ariola, he dropped you in the second round. And although you, you picked yourself up and went on to win a, you know, 12 round unanimous decision, but the fight was very competitive throughout. And you look like you were getting hurt more than Ariola was. I and mean, he put up a way better fight than what most thought. Definitely myself. And big salute and much respect to Chris Ariola because he didn't come in there to lay down. And he made the fight tough for Andy Ruiz. And some would think that that fight was way too close and way too tough for, for where Andy Ruiz is supposed to be at in his career, given all the wars that Chris Ariola had. And that's a common opponent. I don't try to do tri triangle theories, but... As I recall, Wilder stopped Chris Ariola, whether it was a TKO or not. He, he didn't finish the fight with Wilder, but he finished with you, Mr. Andrew Ruiz. So I think, it, you know, as fighters, you need to be mindful or careful uh, of questioning each other's hunger and determination based on dollar signs and prior success that he had. That's like saying he can be rejuvenated and hungry all over again. The statue, you never know what him getting that statue could have did for him in terms of motivation you know what i'm saying i don't know if you even paid attention to that are you aware of that because you didn't mention it but the question is determination or hunger like i said based off him making money or at him having success prior to this situation right now like i think that's inaccurate and like i said if you if you can be hungry at their loss so could deontay wilder and if there's one thing he's shown us throughout his entire career is that he's by far one of the absolute most determined athletes to watch in any sport you know what I mean? He, he's stubborn in that regard. He's determined. He's very determined to prove the people wrong. And that's what he had to do for the majority of his career. And I think he did an excellent job at doing so, man. And my, I just tip my hat to Deontay Wilder. He stood for something more than boxing. And I think his name is going to resonate with the people for years to come inside and outside that ring. He's going to be known for destroying people inside that ring with that right hand and giving us, you know, viral highlight, highlight real knockouts. And he's going to be known for standing tall and having principles and morals and moving like a true king outside the outside the sport of boxing you know, outside the ring. You know I me. Mean? It's life outside of boxing. So whether or not he decides to come back, if he just decided to enjoy the rest of his life, I would have no problem with that because as a huge supporter or a realistic supporter of Wilder, man, what he did and accomplished in the timely manner and the time that he accomplished it was nothing short of spectacular and amazing man i just think you know at the end of the day people just need to appreciate what he brought to the sport and if we're being honest the heavyweight division is just missing a spark without him in it if we're being honest i'm not saying he's the only one because that would be disrespectful to the sport but it's a big part of boxing that seemed like it's missing without the bronze bomber on the scene so like i said with him doing that interview and again salute to 7a sports tv for bringing that dope content dope sit down it wasn't even an interview it's more like a conversation that's not an interview that's a sit down that's the brothers sharing sharing thoughts and having a conversation in front of a live audience where we could enjoy and appreciate 
what was on the chant mind and what he had to say. So again, I salute Seven Eight Sports TV for bringing that dope conversation and interview with the champ Deontay Wilder. And like he said, stay tuned, you know. And I think that just means he's going. He's planning on coming back. And like I said, as long as his heart in it, he's dangerous for anybody. And as for Andy Ruiz. I would love to see him get in there with Andy Ruiz, being that he has so, so much to say and question his hunger so he could see just how hungry he is. Because I honestly believe if that fight were to happen, I think Ruiz would get knocked spark out. You know what I'm saying? He don't move his head enough. You know, he does at times, and, but he just still keeps his head on the line and he would have to get in on Wilder and it, he would get he would be met with some resistance. It would not be easy and that I could assure you, win, lose, or draw. He, Wilder, him beating Wilder would be no easy feat. And, and to be honest with you, like I said, I would pick Wilder by knockout. Or I would even like to see Frank Sanchez get thrown in there, being that he disrespected Champ by saying he can't box despite him winning a gold medal and things of that nature. So, like I said, I just want to see Champ back in the ring if that's something he really want to do. I'm in full support on him, full, in full support of him. You know what I mean? Big salute to him getting his statue in his hometown. That's big, that's historic, that's major. I mean, and I'm just looking forward to seeing what his next move is and whatever it is, I support him 100 percent. You know, what I mean, and whether he comes back to the ring, win, lose or draw, he'll have my support. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think about Ruiz questioning Wilder's hunger and drive to come back to the ring. And y'all get in the comment section and let me know if I gave the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder his just do. Because that's what I always do over here. Just do boxing to the next one. I'm out. Peace.